and you can put your head wherever. And close. All right, relax. So let's just do a plie straight and relevé straight. So the training, so every, the fundamentals, the main fundamentals have a training component and then you work your way to the final way that you execute the coordination. And that just depends on strength. So this is a strength and coordination situation. So we go, right. So what she's struggling with right now is when you pick, when you get engaged the back more, so her weight's up, held up here, it creates more space for your placement here. And up, and rise up. Right. Don't, don't come forward. Uh, hips will be fine, and come down. Through straight legs, hey, hold your, and go into the plie. Go. Okay. Little tiny, little, it's more of a hip than anything. It's not the heel that moves, it's the hip. It has to go a little tiny bit, little tiny bit. That, yeah, that's good. You see, you did it and you didn't move the hip backwards, so that's good. Yeah, and try to, so, can you hold for a second? You're gonna, mm -hmm. okay. So folks, here, here's the, here's, maybe you'll de help demonstrate. So what happens normally when she goes up, this is, this is what, your second week on point or something, it's, it's just new. What happens, you see right here, her back, you can't exaggerate, the back, her back, no, no, your shoulders are fine, don't exaggerate that much, no, it's just a little bit of a, this goes too much, right? So she gets a little bit of a round back on the way up, and so we have to, yeah, that, but this can't pop out. So what she was doing is, it's a sickling, so that's what's gonna happen. Here's the mistake that, that uh, will get made. So you see, the sickled foot causes the, this side of the hip to go backwards.